Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what are the main differences between internal fragmentation and external fragmentation. It is one of the most important concept in operating system. Now we go for what are the main differences between internal fragmentation and external fragmentation. So first point in internal fragmentation. Internal fragmentation occurs when the memory First point, internal fragmentation occurs when the fixed block, when the fixed memory block, first point, internal fragmentation occurs when the fixed sized memory blocks are allocated to the process. Whenever the fixed sized memory blocks are allocated to the process, then internal fragmentation occurs. Ex external fragmentation occurs when the variable size memory blocks are allocated to the process. Okay, when we are uh, allocating variable sized memory blocks, then external fragmentation occurs. Second point, internal fragmentation occurs when the memory allocated to a particular process is slightly larger than the memory requested by the process. Okay, then it creates a free space in the allocated block. It is called as internal fragmentation. So, for example, the memory allocated to a process is 2 KB, but memory requested by the process is 1.8 kb okay then what is the difference between them 2 kb minus 1.8 kb that is 0 0.2 kb is free space so this free space creates the internal fragmentation next one external fragmentation occurs when there is a enough memory space is available for the requested process but the memory space available is not in a contiguous manner. So suppose the memory requested by the process is 4 KB. So 4 KB memory space is available but that memory space is not in a contiguous manner. That means 1 KB free space is available at one address, 1 KB free space is available at another address, 1 KB free space is available at another address, 1 KB free space is available at another address. Okay, 4 KB's memory space is available, but 4 KB memory space is not in contiguous. Okay, so then because of that reason, it creates the external fragmentation. Okay, paging suffers from internal fragmentation, whereas uh, segmentation suffers from external fragmentation. Next, what is the solution for internal fragmentation? Okay, the solution for internal fragmentation is 
the total memory space is divided into variable sized blocks and allocates the best fit block to the process okay the total memory space is divided into some variable sized blocks okay what is the best fit block is there that the best fit block is allocated to the process so this is the one solution for internal fragmentation okay next what is the solution for external fragmentation the ex the solution for external fragmentation is compaction c o m p a c t a o n compaction okay so compaction means it shuffles all the free spaces to one place okay one kb free space is available at one place another 1 kb free space is available at one place another free 1 kb free space is available at another place another 1 kb free space is available at one another place okay so these four 1 kb free spaces combines to one place that is called as compaction okay by using compaction we are reducing the external fragmentation but the uh, compaction is expensive okay another solution for uh, segmentation is paging uh, another solution for external fragmentation is paging and segmentation so in that solution okay it allows the process to acquire the physical memory space in a non contiguous manner okay so it acquires the physical memory space not the logical memory space and uh, in a non contiguous manner okay to achieve this we are requiring the paging and segmentation okay totally there are three solutions for external fragmentation one is compaction second one is paging third one is segmentation the next difference is first fit and best fit memory allocation strategies does not use internal fragmentation but whereas in the case of external fragmentation first fit and best fit creates the extra suffers from the external fragmentation okay so here we have to discuss the first fit best fit worst fit or discussed in the next video okay here first fit and best fit memory allocation strategies does not suffer from internal fragmentation here first fit and best fit memory allocation strategies suffers from external fragmentation so what is first fit what is best fit what is worst fit these are the new memory allocation uh, techniques so these can be discussed in the next video so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel so dipara srinivasa ra srinivasa ra so please share this video to your friends and classmates so thank you